This video is brought to you by Hitpoint Press and their big bad booklet series. And by Steam Force Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures The Faraway Sea. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin and Happy Pride Month. We thought this was the perfect time to tell you about a dice and accessory company that's close to our hearts, so to speak. Heartbeat Dice is a small company operating out of our old home of Bakersfield, California that specializes in making pride-themed dice sets and accessories. And they use some of the funds they raise to give back to the community. Heartbeat Dice has so many themed dice sets and they've been kind enough to send us a huge care package. I want to show you as many as we can and while I do it, I also want to introduce you to one of the people who's at the heart of Heartbeat Dice, their founder, Des Blackstone. And Des is is bringing along a discount code and two free gift certificates to Heartbeat Dice that you can win. We'll have details about that later in the video. But real quick, I wanted to let you know that the next issue of our own series, Fight Your Minis, is out on DMs Guild, all about the Tomb Tapper from Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. This booklet gives you everything you need to get the most out of your Tomb Tapper mini, NPC lore masters who can teach your PCs about it, new stat blocks for different tiers of play, new original art, information for tying the Tomb Tapper into other official adventures like Out of the Abyss and several brand new encounters. You can get it for 25% off by joining our newsletter using the links in the doohickey down below. That's Fight Your Minis Tomb Tapper on dmsguild.com. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to the founder of Heartbeat Dice, Des Blackstone. Des, thank you for joining me today. Always a pleasure. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Uh, I hope you folks are doing fine as well. We're doing fantastic. I really appreciate you joining me today. Uh, we have an audio interview today so we can, instead of showing your beautiful face, we're going to show your beautiful dice uh, because we have a lot of dice to show. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how your company came to be? Of course. Uh, so we actually started uh, about three years ago in, in, in very late 2017. Uh, a couple of friends and I, we we play a lot of tabletop role-playing games, uh, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, and uh, quite a few friends and I, um, we consider ourselves members of the LGBTQIA uh, Pride community. And um, we've always been looking for representation in the media, positive representation. And we sort of found that that was sorely lacking in in the environment that we were in you know both in both in the role-playing games we were playing as well as a lot of the accessories we were using um and so we really wanted to sort of find something where we could kind of feel a little bit more all of our own uh both ourselves and the characters we were playing and so we we always wanted there to be sort of pride dice we wanted we wanted that and for the longest time we we weren't seeing that really on the market and then it sort of hit us one day well if no one else is doing that what's stopping us from being that sort of change we want to see in our gaming community so we threw caution into the wind one day and in 2018 we decided to launch a small kickstarter and what do you know it it just sort of blew up after that and that's sort of where we started that's awesome how did you get into just the process the physical process of dice making how did that develop uh so we have a pretty uh, i have a already very strong working relationship with a manufacturer uh that makes a lot of D, &D dice and um one of my jobs is to sort of help develop new colors, new designs, new styles for that manufacturer, for just the general gaming populace in general. Um, so I decided to approach them and say, hey, would you be able to do this sort of style of pride dice? So we went through the process of sort of grabbing the, the color palettes that are often used for these respective flags, making sure that the colors we chose were as closely representative of those used in the pride flag, because every color used in, in these pride flags does stand for something uh, near and dear to that community. So we wanted to be as respectable as possible to um, the entire community, not just the, the pride flags that we associate with ourselves. 
And so it was a pretty long, tedious process to make sure that we, we, we could tr successfully transfer these pride flags from, well, just being regular flags to, to dice, um, getting every color to translate from regular print to resin. It, it's, a, it's a little bit of give and take. It's right. a lot of trial and error. Um, but that's sort of where that design happened. And we got some feedback from members of the, of the community as well. Uh, you know, we approached, we approached some of our friends who were pansexual asking them, Hey, you know, do you, how do you feel that we're better representing you in this dice? We talked to our friends who were, were bisexual and we asked them, Hey, you know, does, does this look like something that you personally enjoy yourselves? Does, you know, does this, does this lesbian flag, do, do you, do you, members of this community also like the way that this flag has translated into dice. And for the most part, all of the feedback was wonderful and was, was positive, but a couple of things we got long, wrong. We had to kind of tweak some colors here and there. And when we had something that we felt was, was uh, respectful to the community and something that the community themselves liked, that's when we sort of transitioned into um, putting those out for larger mass production. And then so far the community has been overwhelmingly supportive and very vocal. If, you know, we need to adjust something or we need to tweak something because you know, these are more than just dice, you know, they, they, they represent more than we could ever, ever think of. And it's, it's amazingly important for us to be as mindful and respectful to of this community um, that's supported us this all these years and you're doing more than just trying to expand the tent of inclusivity when it comes to tabletop gaming you're also using your success to help other charities out do you want to tell us about some of the charities that you've decided to work with of course yeah um so um just like with just like with pride dice um we we took it upon ourselves one day to realize that we have the opportunity here to to really affect this community for the better. And um, a couple of, about last year, we, we took our first step out of the realm of, of Pride Dice, and we decided to make our Black Lives Matter dice uh, with every single penny that comes off of that, going directly towards the Bale Project, uh, the Okra Project, and now we've begun to expand that outwards. Um, the reason we chose some of these charities is because they work directly with the affected communities and they have been ones, they have been charities that the community in question have been the most vocal in saying we should support. Um, we, we have um, a number of other charities we support to uh, breast cancer awareness, uh, autism acceptance, uh, Howard Brown health and the Trevor project. And it, for us, it actually takes a while for us to decide which charity or charities we're going to choose. Um, there's a lot of backend research to make sure that the dollar that we are donating, you know, does does go directly to the community. Uh, unfortunately, there are some charities in which um, a lot of the donation kind of gets tied up in in red tape and in due processing, and we're not always sure that all this money that we're donating is going to the right place. So we want to make sure that we're, we're very careful and that we, we ask the community what is the most appropriate charity uh, for autism acceptance month. Um, we wanted to make sure that we donated to a charity that um, doesn't treat autism as a uh, deterrence or anything negative uh, with breast cancer awareness too. We wanted to make sure that we, we donated to the American Cancer Society, um, which has helped some of our staff members whose family members do have cancer. Uh, for the Okra Project, uh, that's a charity that gives directly back to uh, Black, trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming um, uh, people of color. And we wanted to make sure that that the money is going towards those um, respective parties directly. And as for Howard Brown Health and the Trevor Project, those were the two projects that we initially started supporting early on. 
Um, the Trevor Project has long since been um, a shining beacon in the LGBTQ community as focusing on um, suicide prevention efforts amongst the, the community. And that's something that's always been very near and dear to us. And Howard Brown Health um, also provides uh, health care ser- healthcare services to uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender um, children and teen and youths. And so we wanted to just make sure that if we are going to be giving back to the community, we want to make sure that these charities are working directly for the community. And so it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of back-end work to make sure that we're, we're helping out uh, that we're supporting the right charities. But just like with um, making pride dice, we've decided to just expand our our range of dice uh, only because we we feel that it's our it's our duty and our responsibility to at this point to be the change we want to see in this community. And we have we have that power, we have that ability, and we really want to make sure that we are doing our part to help everyone in this community as much as possible. Even if it's something as simple as making a a set of dice in which all the proceeds go to one charity or another. Um, And we've seen some amazing outreach and we've seen some amazing reception from this community. It's been absolutely overwhelming. And it's, it's been, it's been tear jerking sometimes just to see how, how much we can do. There's only a couple of us here at, at heartbeat dice. And it's, it's an absolute honor to be able to work with all these charities and have them reach back out to us and say, well, thank you so much for, for donating. Thank you for helping out. You know, thank you for caring. And it's, that's, that's the reason why we do all this. It's, it's just been absolutely remarkable. That's awesome. And, and it would all be for naught if the dice themselves weren't so gorgeous and the only problem I find with these dice is they all look like candy to me. And I oh just my like to goodness. eat them. But I want you to tell us a little bit about how far your dice have come because your most recent Kickstarter had these beautiful, and they're some of the most gorgeous dice I own. They may be the most do- gorgeous dice I own, these sharp-edged uh, pride dice. Can you tell us a little bit about how they came to be? They're of course. Thank you so much. Um, so we, we definitely wanted to expand our range of dice past what we've normally done. We've done our first run of dice were just um, our, our tried and true, our pearlescent pride dice. You know, they're, they're, they're the normal um, layered resin dice with a very fine pearlescent powder. And from there, we decided to sort of expand our or line of dice to include more vibrant colors, uh, translucent colors and uh, prismatic colors. But we really wanted to sort of make a, a more, a more, I guess for lack of a better term, a very, a very collectible item too for, for our community. And one of the things that really stuck out to us was this trend of precision sharp edge dice that were hitting the market. And so we were, we wondered, I wonder if there would be a demand or a want for us to do that. And we decided to kind of throw caution into the wind and uh, offer that for our latest Kickstarter along with metal pride dice, which is something that's been requested for, for ages. And that was a, huge undertaking and we fortunately had help from our friends over at Die Hard Dice in not only receiving their blessing to do metal pride dice but they were also able to help us out with the processes that is that is their forte they are the ones that just make the most amazing metal dice on on the market uh, but for the precision dice it was a lot of trial and error trying our best to make something that is a little bit more cost effective for our consumers, but also something that looks uh, very unique and beautiful. Um, a, a lot of a lot of precision edge dice um, can go for about a hundred plus dollars, and we really wanted to make sure that if we were to offer something, um, you know, we're not breaking the bank uh, in the process because we try and be very mindful of of the amount of expendable income that our community does have. Um, to spend on on dice and also 
um, ensuring that we can still donate a portion of every sale to these respective charities. So the, the sharp edge dice were, were, I think those were about a year, year in the making. We started on, we started the process, the trial and error process very early on. Uh, we tried to do some hand pouring ourselves to see if we could give that a shot. And it just ended up being a huge undertaking. And I found that working with resin is, is insanely fun, but so, so gosh darn difficult. Uh, so we managed to get a hold of um, some colleagues overseas who were able, so able to give us a helping hand there. And we couldn't be happier with, with the end results there. We think that they're probably one of our most um, well-received dice out there. And we have a lot more plans to sort of expand on that line uh, in the coming years. That's awesome. And uh, I heard that you may have some special offers that you wanted to give to our viewers here. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Of course, yeah. Um, so for the loyal viewers of the Gallant Goblin, uh, we did want to offer a, a small sort of uh, uh, thank you for both the listeners and uh, the fans here. And we wanted to go ahead and offer a, a small uh, coupon code for the viewers here, um, simply use the coupon code Gallant Goblin at checkout to receive 10% off of your next order. And then we in turn here at Heartbeat would also like to match that 10% and donate that directly back to, to you folks at the Gallant Goblin as a thank you for your support and your love uh, because it does mean a lot to us uh, to have companies reach out and offer to not only cover our dice, but this is actually our first sort of audio esque interview which has been a lot of fun uh because we've never done anything like this uh a lot of us are sort of introverted so we're always like nervous about doing sort of like interview type stuff but it's been a lot of fun and uh, we also have a couple of 25 dollars gift cards that we'll hopefully be raffling off here pretty soon with you folks and that'll be for um free shipping also so for the international listeners there you don't have to worry about you know, paying shipping on that. We, we do our best to try and make sure we cover any kind of fees or shipping when it comes to our giveaways, whether they be domestic or international. Yeah. And I'll give you all details in just a moment about how to enter that giveaway. Uh, but no, I, I really appreciate you coming and talking to us today and, and offering those amazing discounts to our viewers and just all the hard work that you do for the community and making these beautiful dice and bringing them into the world for us. So thank you so much. Of course, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I'm just gonna take one moment of personal privilege here, and I think we have a friend in common. I thought uh, just give him a shout out. Uh, goes by Gadfly Cafe in the comments section down below. I'm not sure if you know who I'm referring to or not, but I think you were his very first DM from what I uh, hear out in <laughs> Vegas world. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. Oh, what a nostalgia rush. One of my best friends out in Bakersfield, so I just thought we'd give him a little shout out uh, for Michael. Uh, we love Michael. So you want to tell us a little bit about uh, GMing for him just real fast? Yeah, sure. Oh my goodness gracious. Just super fast. We'll just yeah, make super fast. Up. So I used yeah. to I used to I used to volunteer DM at our local uh, friendly local game store town, and Michael has been an absolute pleasure to DM for. I remember he, he came in with another group of friends. And it was one of his first times playing D&D. And this is one of the first times that I was DMing uh, games too at our game store. And it was a lot of fun just kind of learning the ropes, finding out how to DM, how to be a player. Neither of us really knew what we were doing, but it was just a lot of fun just stumbling through, making a lot of fun memories. And then I remember Michael would go on to do his own games and run his own adventures. And I would play in some of those. And it's just been a fun journey with Michael. He's been very yeah. kind, very supportive. Yeah, we love Michael. He's in one of my ongoing campaigns too now. So Gadfly, thanks for, hope you're down in the comment section enjoying this today. We will see you soon. And Des, thank you again for joining us today. Of course. Thank you so much for inviting me.
Thank you again to Des for joining us today. And Des also gave us two $25 coupon codes for Heartbeat Dice to give away to two viewers of this video. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber to The Gallant Goblin and leave us a comment down below letting me know which of the Heartbeat Dice sets is your favorite and why. We'll announce the winner in a couple of weeks. And for everybody, don't forget to use the code Gallant Goblin to get 10% off your Heartbeat Dice order. Finally, we want to thank our two sponsors for today. First, Steamforge Games. They are continuing their awesome Animal Adventure series in which you can play as a variety of awakened dogs and cats. And with their upcoming Kickstarter, Animal Adventures of Faraway Sea, it'll introduce a whole host of new awakened animal races, a new animal island setting, and many other things. Visit the link in the doohickey down below and click the link down there to be notified when the Kickstarter launches on July 20th, 2021, because you don't want to miss out on that Kickstarter exclusive Baby Kraken Mini. And I think they're going to have a lot of surprises as well that are going to delight you. That's Animal Adventures of Faraway Sea on Kickstarter July 20th. And, of course, we want to thank Hit Point Press and their Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine about boss monsters for 5th edition. Each booklet gives you a boss monster ready to drop into your ongoing 5e campaigns, ready with story hooks, role-playing information, and stat blocks. This month, come meet Ronrabar, a demon who sows violence and chaos to satiate himself. Will you feed into his bloody desires? Or can you starve Ron Ribber before he gets too powerful? Subscribe today at BigBads.com. And thank you for watching today. Don't forget the Heartbeat Dice discount link down below. And fight your mini Tomb Tapper on sale right now. Come join in my ongoing Storm King Thunder campaign and get other awesome perks at Patreon.com slash The Gallant Goblin. If you enjoyed the video today, kindly click the little thumbs up button down there to help us help more people find us including Tilly here, who's jumping on the table. And you can also find us on Reddit, Discord, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, though, stay safe, have fun, love each other, happy Pride, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>